what is the remainder when the positive integer x is divided by three? So we don't know anything about x, but uh, even so, uh, we do know something about the remainder when we divide by three, because our remainder always has to be less than our divisor, the thing we are dividing by. So even though we don't know anything about x, we know our remainder can only be, there's only three options, zero, one, or two. Uh, so this is worth noting because even without knowing anything about x, we are still very restricted uh, in our answer choices. There's only three possibilities uh, before we even look at our statements. Uh, so that's worth noting. You know, so our question is asking which one of these is our remainder. Uh, when x is divided by six, the remainder is two. So what does that mean? So uh, when x is divided by six, we get some quotient and then with two left over. So I can actually translate this uh, statement algebraically by saying this is telling me x is equal to six times some multiplier or some quotient, we'll call it y. This is some integer multiplier uh, plus two. So if I want to, I can very quickly now generate a bunch of examples of x and then see what the remainder is when I divide by three. So uh, if y is one, x is equal to eight. If y is two, uh, x is equal to 14. And it's going to go up by six every time. So x can be 8, 14, 20, 26, 32, 38, 44, 50, etc. So uh, what is uh, 8 divided by 3? Uh, that is 2, remainder 2. What is 14 divided by 3? That is, uh, what, 4 remainder 2? Okay, what is 20 divided by 3? Uh, that is 6 remainder 2. So it looks here like we got a pattern so far. Should I keep going? 26 divided by 3 uh, is equal to 8. Again, remainder 2. So I think that's enough for me to say this is sufficient to say a remainder is equal to 2. When x is divided by 15, the remainder is 2. So uh, what is that saying? So that is saying x is equal to 15 times some other uh, quotient, we'll call it z here, plus 2. So according to this, x can be if z is equal to 1, 17. If z is equal to 2, 32. So we're adding 15 every time. x can be equal to 17, 32. Uh, 47, uh, 62, 77, uh, 90, 2, uh, 107, I think that's enough for here. Uh, so in this case, uh, what is the remainder when x is divided by 3? So 17 over 3 is 5 remainder 2, so we got remainder 2, uh, 32 over 3 is 10 remainder 2. Okay, 47 divided by 3, what is that? Uh, 15 remainder 2. So I'm thinking, let's, we did 4 here, so might as well do 4 examples here. But I'm thinking we're headed for D. Uh, 62 divided by 3 is 20 remainder 2. So it looks like each statement is sufficient to tell us a remainder is 2. D.